Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Landstalker, The Treasures of King Knoll, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, we finally made it to Castle Mercator, and wow, this place looks huge. As expected, it's a castle after all. Can't have a castle being really small, now can ya? Beautiful courtyard, huh? The gardener must be highly skilled to keep it so nice. Would you like to see him? Surprise, it's me! <laughs> Somebody's feeling a little modest about themselves, but it does look nice. I'll give him that. No, oh, you can't go up on that. Oh, this is the kitchen door. A distinguished guest like you should use the front door. What are you doing out here? Are you having like a smoke break or something? I've always noticed that most cooks tend to, like, uh, take up smoking, because that gets them the most breaks. Alright, let's go into the front door. Welcome, Mr. Nigel. I've heard stories of your great work in Ryuma. Come this way. Please look around the castle later, if you like. But I want to look around now. Don't give me this later crap. Please stay here. The Duke will greet you momentarily. Deal Klesomaham. I said, welcome to my mansion in Gamorian. Gentlemen, I have read reports on each one of you. Nigel, you're originally from Maple. Your work in Ryuma was excellent. Dexter, you come to us from Belar, or Bel Air. Your reputation as a swordsman precedes you. And last but not least, Zack, the pride and joy of Draconia. You're known throughout the land as a fearless bounty hunter. I'd like to offer you each an assignment. Tonight, I'm having a banquet in your honor. We'll discuss the details in the terms in detail at the party. See you then. Hmm, so Zack's the one with the wings. Yeah, there's nothing menacing about him at all. Oh, that sound effect looks hideous, or sounds hideous. Nigel, huh? I've heard, sure I've heard that name before. Of course! You're the one who stole the statue of Egypta, aren't you? And if I am... I knew it! But don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Duke Mercator is a famous swordsman in Gamur. I look up to him. Ah, uh, the evil magician. Alright, that's probably the one involving the taxes. Well, I do have, like, uh, less than half my health remaining. Oh, my room is ready. Nice. What is she doing on the table? Maybe she's cleaning the wall. Alright, so... Okay. Pretty long way to go to my room. Please make yourself at home. Okay, I plan to do that. Can't really do anything, so I guess I gotta leave. I suppose I can just talk to everyone. Oh, I'm not special? Raw meat? They serve raw meat, but then they kinda overcook it to the point that anyone else can eat it. You waited over 20 years to get this chance. Believe it or not, Nigel is actually pretty old, because he is an elf after all. And elves have a very long shelf life. Oh, you're preparing for the party. I wanted to go in there. I guess I can't. Please tell me you're cleaning and not just being punished. You had to stare at the wall for like five minutes. Okay, she is cleaning the walls, just as I thought. Van Gogh? Oh, seems like a reference to Van Gogh. Eh, I only got like 1,500 gold, so I'm not gonna buy that painting. And what is that painting gonna do for me anyway? Make me look smug. Hmm. I wanted to rest, but I tried interacting with the beds. They did nothing. Let me see if there was something I missed. Please call one of the other maids. Oh, it's a dog. 
Arf, arf! Yeah, good boy, good boy, yeah! Where does this lead? It's like the library. It's a very large ass castle, I'm not gonna lie. There's probably so many people to talk to in each room. You're happiest when you're surrounded by a lot of books. Good for you. And... Okay, I can't do anything over these crates, because you have no option to pull them. I imagine there's some kind of secret passage. But we can't deal with that yet. I mean, even though my sword can, like, shoot out flames when it's fully charged, it's not like I can just, like, set the boxes on fire. care of VIPs every day, well, it's a very serious business. Do I just have to, like, stay in my room for a period of time? Look, there's nothing to interact with. Do I have to, like, stand perfectly still? No, that's not gonna do it either. There has to be somebody I can talk to. Maybe I can actually leave the castle. Because it looks like they're taking like a hundred million years to come get us. Wish I had the option to rest. You know, get back to full health. That would be nice. What am I supposed to do? The game doesn't really give you much information as to who you can interact with just to be done with this. You're still preparing for the party? How long does it take, really? Let me leave the castle and see what happens. Please feel free to look around the castle. I've already looked around the castle. You get to see the nobility from various countries. You had a chance to be Princess Lara from Maple. Since then, nothing. Well, things change now. Hey, boy! Are you a rookie? We have a banquet tonight, so shake a leg. Oh, are you a guest? Uh, excuse me, sir. What are you doing by the barrels, anyway? Is this like a dungeon? How selfish she is! She told me I'm on a diet. Serve me a special menu with no meat, no fish. I really don't like her, but a guest is a guest. Well, hopefully she served, like, grain, beans, and legumes, because you need protein. You get to eat the leftovers after the banquet. Aww. So they must be the peasants. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, who are you? I thought you were my boss. He's always scolding me. Because it looks like you're drunk. That ulping sound effect. Oh, yeah, I already talked to you. That actually depresses me in the castle, like, they live, like, very lowly lives. I don't need to go in there. I need to go in this big door. Have you looked around the castle? That's what I'm doing right now. Ah, livestock. Good. I must be in the kitchen. Oh, yeah, he only needs raw meat. He looks like a half-man, half-dragon. Cooking for three days, that gives, like, a lot of time for flavors. We're serving fried gamor lobsters and scallops. Seafood is one of the Duke's favorites. Fried lobster? I've never heard of such a thing. That seems quite strange. But I would imagine it's been done before in this world. Like frying lobsters. Yeah, so this is where you train the soldiers. Yeah, nice training you got going there, like standing at a, staring at a table. Long ago, there was a huge war on the continent. King Noel used this island as a base. When the war was over, the fortresses and labyrinths were simply abandoned. Many of them stand to this day. The Dark Wizard of the Tower is very cunning. The tower itself is like a storied maze. There is also a barrier to protect the wizard from outsiders. Okay, so that evil wizard lives in a tower and there's a barrier. No, I don't want to watch you double it. In fact, when I actually got some money, believe it or not, if you landed on the platform and the other platforms knock it over, they take your winnings back. No, oh, you didn't scare me. You guys aren't going to attack. The 
newest formation, yeah, flanking from three sides. Well, why were you gonna flank one of your own soldiers anyway? Like, as a training regiment? Yeah, you gotta concentrate. Oh, it must be Arthur. Hey, all, Sir Nigel. This is the training room. Please don't tell a soul about Julie. By the way, I think it's time to go to the party. Why dost thou not go to the banquet room? Well, I had to talk to everybody, and that includes you. Hmm. It's a long room by itself. Oh, all the soldiers are gone. I guess now I can go to the banquet room. Let's do that. So it looks like I triggered an event with Arthur. So where is this banquet room over here? No, it's probably that room that was blocked. So I think I have to go... this way? Yes, this is the room. Please come in! I'm sure you're anxious to hear what the Duke has to say to you all. Oh, that's one big-ass piano. <coughs> As you know, an evil magician lives in that tower just outside of town. He's a terrible nuisance to me, and to this town. The name of this wizard is Mir. Ever since he settled in that tower, we've been afraid for our very lives. We've done everything he asked. I sometimes thought of sending soldiers to the tower, but his strong magic might have harmed the innocent civilians of Mercator. So I've been giving him all the gold he wants. But I will stand for it no longer! Oh, I beg your pardon. Perhaps I've rambled on a bit. Shall I say it again? No, I've heard it enough. I think it's time we defeated this mirror. The peaceful town of Mercator will never know true peace as long as he lives. So I sent for you. I'd like you to defeat Mirror. Of course, I'm prepared to offer you a rich reward. It so happens I have in my possession the Golan Emerald, one of the national treasures of this fair land. Dexter, Zack, and Nigel. You'll be heroes throughout this proud nation for all time. May the goddess help you three. That's all I have to say. Now, let's enjoy the banquet. Do you like music? Let me introduce the world-famous composer and pianist, Mr. Ludwig. Thank you! Tonight I shall play for you my latest work. Boo, you suck! Oh, that is so uncomfortable. You gotta shift from side to side to play that. You're shifting around like you got hemorrhoids or something. Like, I just can't stay in place, otherwise, my ass is going to burn. Like, nobody here is even blinking. Look at this. I can't even move my character. Like, seriously. No, nobody's moving, except Ludwig. Music is okay. Sounds very peaceful. Everybody's just so still. Look at that banquet. It doesn't look anything like a fried lobster and scallops. It looks like he served a rock with some stewed beef and what looks like a potato. Maybe Zach likes rocks too, along with raw meat. Bravo! That was wonderful! Ludwig, may I have the title of this darling opus? I wrote it, for Princess Lara of Maple. Duke, please tell me. I have to know. Why did she disappear? Enough! Silence! Ludwig, you may leave now. Guards, take him away! Somebody seemed very apprehensive. If you'll all excuse me, I suddenly feel... unwell. I think I shall retire to my chambers for the evening. Gentlemen, please enjoy the party. I'm expecting much of you. 
Good luck. Um, there's still that issue with the barrier around Mir's tower. Like, how, how are we supposed to penetrate it? You may take along with me tomorrow if you want. Must be kind of a burden to be so puny. Excuse me? I think General Arthur discovered a way to break it. Oh. You know what? I better go pay a visit to him. First, let me check out this room. Uh, well, I didn't really want to leave per se. But it looks like I have access to this room. Actually, I was in this room before, just on a different side. So why don't I go back to that training room where Arthur is. If he knows how to get through that barrier, he should be able to get in. So let's go. That's right, I gotta go up the stairs. I'll get used to this castle, it's so big. Art thou really going to the tower? It is a very dangerous place. Didst thou know that there is a magic barrier at the entrance to the tower? Yes, I knew that. My investigations revealed that an armlet is necessary to break the barrier. It is somewhere in the underground crypt next to the church. I keep sending my best scouts in there, but somehow they never seem to return. I think there must be traps or some such protecting the armlet. I would imagine, like anything that's an ancient treasure, of course you're gonna put traps there. It's not like the keepers of this treasure are gonna be like, Okay, oh, you wanna take that? Okay! I have to rest in my room? Well, as long as I actually get to rest. You know, as opposed to like just going in my room and not be able to interact with anything. It would be a good idea. Still low on health, after all. Uh, I can't go to the VIP room, that sucks. Nigel, are you going to bed for the night? Yup. You don't have to hover directly over me, Friday. Wow, I must be very tired, I passed out face first. Nigel! Nigel! Are you awake? Uh, yeah. To tell you the truth, I really should thank Kayla. Know why? Because if she hadn't chased after me like that, I would never have met you. I don't know why, but I feel so happy just being near you. And so, hey, are you listening to me? Nigel! Nigel! <laughs> what will you do after you get the treasures? Go back to the continent? And what about me? What should I do? Nigel! Nigel! Well, it's your fault for deciding you want to talk to me after I fall asleep. Good night, Nigel. Okay, so I actually did go to full health. That would have been so stupid if I didn't get to full health. Hmm, so they said something about a crypt being located behind the church. In that case, that's going to be my next destination. I can't do anything about the tower otherwise. Oh, they're gonna let me go, good. Alright, let's get a move on. So where is the church again? Is it in this part of town? I know, yep, there's the church there. Why is everybody gathered around this spot? Oh, Zack and Dexter. Why does that remind me of Jack and Dexter even though they were not even out yet? Ah, uh, welcome to the Mercator Champion Motel. Heroes check in, but they don't check out. Well, <laughs> there it is, the underground crypt. What are you waiting for? A nicer reception? Oh, this does not look like a very nice place. Okay, but I guess I'm gonna have to stop the video here in the next part. So let's go through the underground crypt. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.